Service Teardown, HP Chromebook 11. How to replace the base enclosure. Removal. Remove the two rubber feet from the base enclosure. Remove the seven P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Using a non-metallic flat bladed tool, carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Remove the base enclosure. Replacement. Align the base enclosure with the edges of the top cover and lower it into position. Apply pressure to the edges of the base enclosure to secure it into place. Replace the seven P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Place the two rubber feet into position on the base enclosure. How to replace the battery. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Removal, disconnect the battery cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Lift the battery off the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the battery on the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Connect the battery cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the speakers. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Disconnect the speaker cable from the connector on the motherboard. Release the tape that secures the speaker cable to the touchpad bracket. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the speakers to the top cover. Lift the speakers off the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the speakers onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the speakers to the top cover. Replace the tape that secures the speaker cable to the touchpad bracket. Connect the speaker cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the touchpad board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure battery, and speakers. Removal. Use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the touchpad board. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad board bracket to the top cover. Lift the touchpad board bracket off the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Remove the three P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the touchpad board to the top cover. Lift the touchpad board off the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the touchpad board into position on the top cover. Replace the three P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the touchpad board to the top cover. Place the touchpad board bracket onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad board bracket to the top cover. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the touchpad board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the USB board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Remove the retention tape that covers the USB board ZIF connector. Use minimal force to lift the locking bar up on the USB board ZIF connector and disconnect the ribbon cable from the USB board. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the USB board to the top cover. Lift the USB board off the alignment pins on the top cover, slide the connector out of the cutout, and remove. Replacement. Slide the external connector into the cutout in the top cover and lower it onto the alignment pins. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the USB board to the top cover. 
Insert the USB board ribbon cable into the ZIP connector on the USB board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Replace the retention tape that covers the USB board ZIP connector. How to replace the heatsink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Peel back the mylar that partially covers the heatsink. Note, the heatsink has numbers adjacent to the following two screws. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor components in numerical order. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease located between the heatsink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heatsink from side to side to detach it from the motherboard. Lift the heatsink off of the alignment pins on the motherboard and remove. Replacement. Note, before replacing the heatsink, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heatsink is removed. Using an alcohol swab, carefully remove the thermal grease from the processor and heatsink. According to the individual specifications for your particular processor, apply new thermal grease to the processor. Align the heatsink with the alignment pins on the motherboard and lower the heatsink into position over the processor. Tighten the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Replace the mylar that partially covers the heatsink. How to replace the motherboard. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Disconnect all following cables from the motherboard. Display panel. Webcam. USB board. Keyboard. Touchpad. Speakers. Remove the mylar that covers the wireless LAN antenna cables and connectors on the motherboard. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cable from the WLAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the motherboard by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the external connector bracket to the motherboard. Lift the external connector bracket off the alignment pins on the motherboard and remove. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the top cover. Carefully lift the edge of the motherboard off the alignment pins and guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover. Remove the motherboard. Replacement. Tow the external connectors into the cutouts and lower it onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the motherboard to the top cover. Place the external connector bracket onto the alignment pins on the motherboard. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the external connector bracket to the motherboard. Reconnect the following cables to the motherboard. Speakers. Touchpad. Keyboard. USB board. Webcam. Display panel. Carefully reconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables to the motherboard. Replace the mylar that covers the wireless LAN antenna cables and connectors on the motherboard. How to replace the display panel assembly or top cover. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the motherboard. Partially remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Remove the mylar that covers the wireless LAN antenna cables and connectors on the motherboard. Caution: Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cable from the WLAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the motherboard by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Disconnect the webcam cable from the connector on the motherboard. Partially remove the wireless LAN antenna and webcam cables from the routing channel on the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the top cover. Open the right display panel hinge. 
remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the top cover. Open the left display panel hinge. Remove the wireless LAN antenna and webcam cables from the routing channel on the top cover. Lift the top cover, slide the alignment pins out of the display panel hinges, and remove. Replacement Note, before installing a new top cover, remove all components from the old top cover and install them onto the new top cover. Slide the top cover alignment pins into the display panel hinges and lower it onto the display panel assembly. Partially route the webcam and wireless LAN antenna cables through the routing channel on the top cover. Close the left display panel hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the top cover. Partially route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Close the right display panel hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the top cover. Route the wireless LAN antenna and webcam cables through the routing channel and adhesive on the top cover. Connect the webcam cable into the connectors on the motherboard and replace the retention tape. Carefully reconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables to the motherboard. Replace the mylar that covers the wireless LAN antenna cables and connectors on the motherboard. Route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the display panel cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the display bezel Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and display panel assembly. Removal Carefully separate the inside edges of the display bezel from the top sides, and hinge cover to disengage it from the display enclosure. Important: The edges of the display bezel are held in place with adhesive. Take care when removing them from the display enclosure. It may be necessary to use a non-metallic, flat-bladed tool to aid in the removal. Lift the display bezel off the display enclosure and remove. Replacement Align the display bezel with the edges of the display enclosure and lower it into position. Apply pressure to the edges of the display bezel to secure it in place. How to replace the display panel Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, display panel assembly, and display bezel. Removal Partially remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Remove the four P0 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel to the display panel hinges. Rotate the display panel forward and place it in front of the display enclosure. Peel back the retention tape and disconnect the display panel cable from the connector on the display panel. Remove the display panel. Replacement. Place the display panel in front of the display enclosure so that you have access to the display panel cable and connector. Connect the display panel cable to the connector on the display panel and replace the retention tape. Rotate the display panel backward and place it onto the alignment pins on the display panel hinges. Replace the four P0 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel to the display panel hinges. Route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the display enclosure. How to replace the display panel hinges Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the display enclosure. Release the left display panel hinge from the retention tabs, slide it off the alignment pins on the display enclosure, and remove. The right display panel hinge is removed in the same manner. Replacement 
Place the left display panel hinge onto the alignment pins on the display enclosure and secure it under the retention clips. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the display enclosure. The right display panel hinge is replaced in the same manner. How to replace the webcam Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, display panel assembly, display bezel, and display panel. Removal Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the webcam ZIF connector. Using a flat, non-conductive tool, carefully remove the webcam from the adhesive that secures it to the display enclosure and lift the webcam off its alignment pins. Disconnect the webcam ribbon cable from the webcam. Remove the webcam. Replacement Insert the webcam ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the webcam and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Place the webcam onto the alignment pins on the display enclosure. Apply pressure to the webcam to adhere it to the display enclosure. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.